How will tariffs impact the Bitcoin mining industry? It is estimated that 40% of all hash rate is located within the United States. However, all of the major ASIC manufacturers are located in China. And President Trump just announced a 34% tariff on all Chinese imports. This creates an interesting dynamic because the industry is essentially fragmented into two distinct sections. You have the manufacturers located on one side of the world and the site operators located on the other. This tariff will have three noticeable impacts on Bitcoin mining. First, ASIC prices will rise. This is fairly self-explanatory. Given that Bitmain and MicroBT effectively have a duopoly on Bitcoin mining hardware, it's likely that they raise their prices in response to the tariff, passing the cost on to the consumers. This will likely be the case until we see large-scale ASIC manufacturing within the United States, which could still be a few years away given the R&D and infrastructure investment needed to make this happen. Second, stateside hardware will demand an even higher premium, specifically those with turnkey hosting. Bitcoin miners already pay a premium for hardware that is already onshore in the United States. Time is money, and it often makes sense to pay a slightly higher price for machines that are close by rather than saving a few dollars but having to wait multiple months for hardware to be shipped from China. This is especially true during Bitcoin bull markets as the opportunity cost of lengthy lead times for overseas shipments is even greater. In 2021, a similar dynamic took place as the COVID-19 lockdowns broke the global supply chain. It was difficult to quickly import machines from China and as the bull market raged on, demand for ASICs rapidly outpaced supply, and the prices increased by more than 10x, with S19s infamously selling for more than $100 per terahash. Moreover, mining hardware that is not only in the United States already, but it's already plugged in and hashing at a top-tier data center carries an even higher premium. For example, through Blockware's Bitcoin native marketplace, Miners are able to purchase machines that are already plugged in, eliminating lead times entirely. Tariffs just made this product even more valuable. Lastly, the growth rate of Bitcoin mining difficulty will likely slow down. In 2024, mining difficulty increased by roughly 50% as the hash rate of the Bitcoin network increased. This is down from a 110% growth rate in 2023. As the total amount of computational power on the Bitcoin network increases, the marginal impact of new machines is diminishing. As miners increasingly turn to stateside hardware, the influx of new machines coming from China may slow down, causing a further slowdown in the growth rate of mining difficulty, which would bode well for the profitability of incumbent Bitcoin miners. If you're interested in learning more about Bitcoin mining, subscribe to the Blockware Intelligence newsletter on Substack. Every Monday, we send out a free newsletter called Monday Mining Metrics, where we provide a detailed analysis of the Bitcoin mining industry, machine economics, and more.